Man, what is up? Shit. Check it out, man. So, another weekend update, you guys. Um, this was a pretty crazy weekend. Um, shout out Exotic Aries, man. Um, little lady I've been talking to for four years, man. She's amazing. She's turned into one of my best friends, turned into just everything to me, man. And so, it was her birthday, you guys. So, I celebrated it this weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, and a little bit of Sunday. Um, we went to Shen Yun. And, you know, we got to see some oriental dancing, some interpretation of that. It was a pretty cool experience, you guys. They So basically, Shen Yun is like China's way of giving history to the masses without... Because like in China, they got a lot of laws and a lot of rules and regulations and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things that they can't do out there. And Shen Yun is one of those things that they just can't do out in China. So they go to other countries around the world and they do that. It was pretty good experience. Spent about, I think it was about like $120 per ticket. Um, so that was that was pretty nice. Went with her and her friends. Uh, we also went to a little bar afterwards. Um, the day before on that Friday, um, we went indoor skydiving. I took her indoor skydiving at iFly, you guys. It was pretty fun. Pretty cool experience, man. I got really high up there, man. Like real, real high. And I was screaming. I was like, what the fuck? I wasn't screaming, but I was like yelling, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. Like, it was crazy. Um, I would do it again, though, man. It was really cool. Dropped another $80 to get four more flights. So that's kind of cool. I'm um, excited about that. Um, we got the drive in a Tesla, too. She rented the Tesla for the weekend. Man, it was an issue, though, because the guy that she rented the Tesla from, he didn't give her the key fob. The key fob that you need in order to turn the car on and stuff like that. And so instead, what she what she did, what he did, was he programmed her phone to act like the key. So you would use your phone to turn on the car, lock the car, all sorts of stuff. Well, in order to get to Shen Yun, we had to park underground in a parking lot, right? No service there. So the car, whenever you... We couldn't start it. It got stuck in the same position because we couldn't start the car because we didn't have a key. The key was her phone, but there was no service. And so we just ran into a bunch of issues, man. I don't like Teslas. I'm glad I got to ride into that. I'm glad I got to drive it. Not worth it. Not worth it at all, man. Teslas are not good cars. I think they look good. I think they're nice, but the inc the, the amount of inconvenience, like society isn't built for electric cars. For, for, for one, first off, so you need to go to Whole Foods, you need to go find a place that has, I mean, in Dallas, in an area where it's more modern, where you're going to have a bunch of little charging ports, it's not really much of an issue, but it's like, you're, you're effed, you're effed if you don't have electricity, if you have nowhere to like plug your car in and stuff like that, if you don't have your charger with you, things like that, your key fob, like it's just too, and then when you start the car, like when you're driving the car, right, when you're driving the Tesla, when you take your foot off the gas, the car starts to auto brake on itself. I don't like it. It is a very uncomfortable, not smooth ride at all. It's not smooth. When you want to put, when you take your foot off the gas, sometimes you just want to cruise. You don't want the car to always do auto brake. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm hoping so. Anyways, I'm, I'm thinking that that's something that you can actually take off. Like you could take that off of the program or the Tesla or something like that. But bro, that was that was annoying. Seriously, completely ruined the entire experience. Super quiet inside the Tesla, though. Like I can hear a pin drop. I can hear you can you can hear your heartbeat like inside the car, but like it's so quiet. But it's just the too much stuff that is just inconvenient with it. I I was thinking like I'm thinking man, five ten years down the road when they come up with more updates with the Tesla, make it more like modern. I hate to say that, but it's like. They try to be so modern with the car that they took off basic functions. Like, it's just unnecessary to have the door handle do the shit that it do. Like, it's just it's just ridiculous, man. Like, there's no point to, in, in, in having the... Like, it's not even cool. I mean, like, I guess it's kind of cool, but the, the door handle feels like I can literally... I can use 30% of my strength and, like, yank the door handle out the car. Like, the, the, pro the quality of the products that the car was made with does not feel like a 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar car. It does not feel good. Like the door handle feels weak. Everything inside of it feels like hard plastic. Like 
it's just it just doesn't feel like a good like I don't think it's worth the money. I really don't think it's worth the money. I'm definitely gonna save my money for a nicer, better car, more modern, more tested, tried and tested car. Now when I see people driving their Teslas on the road, I really don't even feel any kind of like jealousy or any kind of like man, they must be doing nice. Yeah, they probably are doing nice, but damn that car is yeah, it's got some cool fun functions here and there, but it's just really not worth it, man. Car, you're supposed to—it's supposed to be intuitive. You're supposed to get in the car, drive, you know, turn on the headlights if you need to do something at night, you know, turn on the brights or something, you know, back up using a little stick. Like it shouldn't be that hard. It's not that difficult, man. Just keep the same stuff, make the car look nicer, get some more modern features inside, but keep the basic functions. We need the steering wheel. We need the little gear shift. We need like. Why is the gear shift where the gear shift in order to take it from reverse, neutral, drive, park? It's where the windshield wipers on every car is, except for the Tesla. It's like when you go to the to, the, to Britain, everywhere else in the world, they use the metric system except for America. It's like why, why, why do we call soccer football, or why do we call football soccer, and football is American football everywhere else? You know what I'm saying? It's like why do we got to do things so backwards. I get it, right? We're America, right? We, we, we've earned the right to say that. It's Elon Musk and Tesla. Maybe they've earned their right to be fucking backwards, but it's it's just not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm, I'm not going to get a Tesla. Glad I got to drive my te that Tesla. Not worth it, man. I'm, I'm not going to get another Tesla again. That experience really made things feel uh, a little sour. I put a little sour taste in my, in my mouth for that. Um, 6 9 came out with his music video, you guys, on Friday. I'm sure y'all seen it, man. Um, I know this is, once again, this is unpopular opinions, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I know it's probably a lot of, a lot of hood niggas, real niggas, street niggas, and shit out there that listen to this, maybe watch me or something like that. Look, I don't give a fuck, because at the end of the day, man, I recognize, like, who is real and who's smart. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a difference. Why? You on this planet, you only live in this body, right? Whether you believe in reincarnation, whether you believe in other multiple lives, whether you believe in another life, at least in this plane, in this body, having the experiences you have, having the family members you have, you only gonna have this chance one time in this life. What's the point of throwing it away to go into jail for staying and being real? What's the point of going to getting shot, getting killed and stuff like that for being real, for respect and some shit like that? Yes, there are some things that you definitely should die for. I believe you don't start living until you know what you're going to die for. I believe in that. But over some street, rat, hood, real nigga shit, fuck all that, man. Fuck that shit. Y'all niggas not paying for my life. Y'all niggas, if anything, street niggas, I got some street nigga friends. I dropped $200 to my homie's lawyer case. Nigga had, nigga had to go to law. Bro, he was about to go to jail. He's like, fam. And whether or not he put it, and here's the deal, whether or not he used that 200 that I gave him to pay for his lawyer or he just pocketed that cash, it don't really fucking matter. My nigga needed the money, and so I'm gonna be there, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be there. If you need some shit, you my nigga. I got you, bro. You don't need to, you don't need to be stressing like that, man. If you need a little 200, I got you, bro. Like, I'll give it to you. But if you don't pay that back, if you don't, you know, you don't keep integrity with me, you don't stay true to your word with me, that's cool, right? $200 is $200. I could have used that for something. Um, something. Anything. You know what I'm saying? That's $200. But guess what? I gave it to you because I didn't need it as much as you needed it at the time. I didn't really need it like that. I got it like that. So I give you $200. But if you don't give me that shit back, that's just, that's just you. You losing out on motherfuckers because you, I, whatever you fuck you doing. And that's the same situation when it comes to this 6 9 shit. It's like, bro, nigga making millions. How often do you get to make millions before you hit 25, before you hit 30, multi-million? How many times do you become on top of the fucking world in a lifetime and you can enjoy that shit? You gonna get locked up, you getting face to it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the politics of the whole situation. What I'm here to say is that yes, I'm a I'm a fucking 6 9 fan. I've been a 6 9 fan since he came out here because he talking his shit. He still come from humble beginnings. Quote unquote, but honestly, he's using. He's smart as shit. He's a smart ass motherfucker. He's using all the niggas he's around. And here's the deal. They let him do it. They knew what it was. That's why Trey Wade and Shotty and them 
was fucking with him. They knew what it was. It's like a fucking friends, a fuck buddy situation. It's like a friends with benefits situation. Y'all know, y'all supposed to know what it is. It's, it's y'all just fucking no feelings, right? Y'all supposed to be able to keep it that way. That's what Treyway and 6 9 situation is supposed to be. But lines got crossed. And so once lines get crossed, we not following the same contract. You playing by different rules. That means that if that's the case, well then I'm throwing all the rules out. I'm looking for myself because you looking out for yourself. In the end, we were supposed to be looking out for ourselves, but still respecting each other's boundaries. That's what the agreement was when we came into the situation. But now you overstepping some boundaries. Fuck it. All's fair at this point. All is fair at this fucking point. And so I could kind of sort of see whatever the reason why YNW Melly did what he did to his homies. I understand it. I can see what I can see, but in the end, it's just not worth it, man. There's certain things that are just not worth it. It's just not fucking worth it. It's not worth it to go kill your motherfucking homies over some whatever because now you're throwing away your life, your career. It's not worth being a real nigga in the streets claiming this banging gang and stuff when you making millions drop it drop it either way man 6ix9ine made his song it's guinea it's good i like it it's not his greatest song at all but it's a good start man it's great to see him drop something and it really does sound like 2018 6 9 that nigga was popping i still kind of listen to his song sometime nigga ziffy up blicky got the stiffy up Got 50 up, drum it. Like, that shit go tough, bro. That, that shit, it go hard. It go hard. And if you, you too much of a real nigga that you can't enjoy and recognize and give talent to when it's due, when motherfuckers got talent, you just a prideful, egoic, emotional motherfucker. But guess what? It's cool. It's all right. Just admit it. Well, I, I see it. Everyone else sees it. Just admit it, man. Own your position. Own what it is. You emotional, egotistical, and... You sticking by your values. And you, you, quite honestly, very limited in your vision. If nothing exists outside of your bubble, your your immediate surroundings, nothing else exists outside of that. So, I mean, as long as you can admit that that's how you are, I mean, it's cool, bro. I respect it. Just admit it. You know what I mean? And if you don't like me, say it down below. If you don't like what I'm saying, you be like, bro, man, you, you on that bullshit. Delete this video. Delete this video, man. This is some bullshit, nigga. This ain't it. I mean, go ahead and type it down below because at the end of the day, you guys, this is unpopular opinions, but I'm also trying to live my fucking life. I'm trying to live my life. That's the same way I encourage all of y'all to live y'all life, man. And so, um, that's that's kind of what that came out to be, you guys. I, I went off on the tangent. So, yeah, we got the 6 9 video um, working out, man. I'm getting myself back into the motherfucking gym, you guys. I've been doing it for about a... I've been I've been in the gym in and out for the last three years, but um, I'm I'm being real more consistent now. Um, I'm going tonight. Um, it's about 8:20 recording this, so um, you know I get off from my job around midnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gym, get it popping, you guys. I'm really I'm gonna give you guys the body reveal. I'm gonna give you the um, I'm doing a three month transformation, you guys. So. I'm going to let you guys see what it's looking like. It's going to be about 8 to 12 week transformation. I did record a video a month ago, four weeks ago. So um, in the next two months, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the before and after. And um, regardless of the results, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep it 100 with you guys. I'm going to try to keep it real, real with y'all. So um, I'm really working hard to get my body looking nice really looking nice and i'm trying to get that diet together you guys because i believe in it i believe in being healthy believe in becoming the best version of yourself i believe in you know when shit hits the fan if i'm getting called upon man i'm i'm ready to deliver the job you know what i mean i gotta be in physical fitness in order to do the job whatever the job is you know you feel me you understand what i'm saying we here with it you know what i mean so <clears throat> that's that's what that is I hit Masters on Apex Legends, you guys. I'm fucking it up over there. I'm going to try to get get back into that, too, man. I'm going to start posting more highlights of the, of, of my games, man, because I'm killing it on that shit. Um, I finished my Bupropion, so I'm going to make a video on that. I got the Alibaba chain, bro, from the Moisenite chain from Alibaba. That motherfucker is legit, and it's, I, I can't believe I spent so much money with Ice Giant and Harlem Bling, you guys. I wasted so much money with them. I could have just bought it from Alibaba. Same quality, better even. You still get the you get the GRA certification, which I didn't get with all of my pieces with Ice Giant or Harlem Bling. And the shit came in two weeks. With Ice Giant or Harlem Bling, this shit took a month. 
took two weeks, half the time. I'm getting it from Alibaba from getting jury ever again, you guys. Passed the diamond test as well. They looking fantastic, man. My, like, I'm looking nice, bro. I love the way the light shines on my jury when I'm out. I just gotta get get my car nice, fixed up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to debate on what kind of car I wanna get. I'm not gonna say much anything too much just yet, but I'm looking at I'm looking at some convertible Lexus, maybe a convertible Mercedes, even maybe even the vet, the Corvette. <clears throat> or I might just say fuck it and just get get myself a nice ass SS convertible Camaro or something like that. Um, but it, I'm 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 debating you guys. I'm debating. I'm still riding around in my little um, drop top Toyota. My got my little drop top Toyota baby running nice, been doing nice for me. But I'm I'm definitely looking at other cars. I just don't know what I should drop for yet. If I don't I don't know if I should if I should go for the. I'm really looking at either getting the Corvette or getting the Camaro. Um, the reason why I would choose the Camaro over the Corvette is uh, simply because of like I would say the price. I really would say the price, man. I think that's really just about it. The Corvette looks fucking amazing, really nice. What year would I get? I don't know, maybe, I, I'm not, I can't get 2018 to 2022 just yet because those are pretty expensive, man. I was like looking at 70, 80 up, 80 and up, you guys. So I ain't, I ain't really looking at that too much. I'm looking at the Mero because I can get a nice V8, 35,000, easy, 500, $600 note a month, easy. And that car is gonna last me for a good like five, 10 years, easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it wouldn't have, it, it still looks amazing. Not really going to do too much to the pockets because I'm really looking at trying to get a house right now too, you guys. I'm really looking at getting into the houses. I'm almost finished with my real estate mortgage license course. Let me not lie. I still got five more sections. So I'm really going to start digging deep with that shit. But I'm, I'm, I ain't forgot my real estate stuff. So I'm getting, getting back into the real estate. Um, YouTube is becoming really fun, man. I'm, I'm, I can't believe the growth that I've gotten so far, you guys. I got 700 subscribers just in the month of April, and it's barely just halfway through April. So that's absolutely amazing. And I'm dedicated, and I'm gonna dedicate myself to making better content, more content, and keep growing, you guys. Not even just growing, but making good content that people can resonate with and that they like. And I'm gonna start doing collaborations and stuff like that, you guys. I just got a lot of ideas, but I really wanna get my personal goals out the way, which is my real estate courses, you guys. I really wanna get that stuff out the way because that's something that nobody can take from me. And it's education too. You know, I know that I can do great things with the YouTube stuff, and I would love to. I'm gonna get a lot of different people on with this kind of stuff, you guys. But I just gotta get my ducks in order first. You know, and doing this real estate licensing stuff, that's something that's real personal to me, man. That's a personal goal that's gonna get me power man and i'm gonna love it i'm gonna love it i already know my broker that i'm gonna sign up with too you know um so i i would love to do that do the youtube and then do some real estate on the side you guys i would love to do that man absolutely that sounds that sounds like the life to me i could just get up call some people make some hundred thousand dollar deals or houses get on youtube make some moves with that go to the gym hang out with my peoples sounds real nice man sounds like a, sounds like a good deal to me and um let me see here i haven't really been doing my pe it's my penis enhancement stuff for the past week haven't really been doing that i'm about to get back on it um i haven't so what i can't say about that because i'm not forgetting about that i'm i'm not gonna be doing too many more videos on it because it's just not much else i feel like i can really talk about unless you ask some questions on it um but I do feel a difference. I haven't done it in about two weeks, and I feel a difference. I feel a difference. I feel like I've not a half an inch, but I feel like I've it's gone down maybe by like by 0.2 inches. But I'm still a solid six, still a solid as nice six, man, and it feels great. And that's the reason why I want to get to eight. I want to hit eight because I, I want to eventually stop doing this altogether. I don't want to have to worry about hanging fucking extending my dick and shit like that. I don't want to keep continuing having to do that. So once I can hit a nice ass eight inches, I know I can just stop. And then at that point, I'll always be seven and up. Always be seven and up. So goal is to hit eight inches and I'll just stop forever because even when I stop forever, my shrinkage will still be over above seven inches, man. And that's a nice size. That's a great, great size. I'm really, I'm already a decent size, man, because like the positions that you know, 
girl she like I can do is like it's it's not there's like damn near no position I can't do you know what I mean even when she do like reverse cowgirl you know because I got I'm not gonna get too deep into it but like I think reverse cowgirl is, is the only position that I'm start still kind of having little issues with and that's because the slippage you know what I mean I'm trying to tie the slipping now I'm gonna be real man we're gonna talk about it man we're gonna be talking about it if you, ain't, if you can't deal with this kind of talk click the fuck off on the shit man being real how often do you hear niggas actually talking honestly about their sex life and shit like that whether or not you care about it i don't give a fuck but anyways i'm gonna I'm get into it so like this is the only time i'm really not having issues with like reverse cowgirl the slipping i'm still having the issues with it but that's something that the lengthening is absolutely gonna fix you know that rhythm you know what i mean because it, it and then also i'm not gonna lie because like after you eat when you eat a lot and then you then you go in and having sex, like you can't do what you usually do. How you did it on like an empty stomach or like you know two three hours after eating or something. You know what I mean? Like you you more of a beast when you after you've eaten. As I mean um like before you've eaten as opposed to after you've eaten. You know what I'm saying? So like when you get a longer dick, like you don't have to do as much work. So that's something that's even a little bit better because she has a lot more real estate to like do her work on you know what i'm saying so that's that's kind of cool too so i'm gonna get i'm gonna keep i'm gonna get back into that this week um got my sister's this birthdays that are gonna be coming up too so that sounds um that's dope um been doing some new stuff with my hair too i've been putting some like like i'm trying to i'm trying to get my shit uh curly like super curly you know like hanging down i don't know i'm, I'm gonna see if that'll even be able to happen my hair is kind of like it's, it's kind of thick. I, I would have dreads, but I'm just I just hate getting my dreads twisted, man. Like it take too long and it costs a lot of money, and I just don't I don't want to do either of those, quite honestly. So that's what that is. Um, that's really about it for this weekend, man. I'm looking forward to the rest of this week. Um, I wonder how y'all weekend was and some shit like that, you guys. Um, yeah. So with that being said, man, I'm about to get into it. It's gonna be some more fresh and fit content, more Kevin Samuels content coming, more um, who knows what type of content, man. I'm gonna do more rant videos. I'm gonna do more solo monologue videos, and I'm gonna start doing more reactions with shit. Um, and then I'm gonna start being, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit more different with the camera angles and the videos and stuff like that. I'm gonna experiment, experiment a lot more with it. Um, with that being said, man, it's your brother Trey, you guys. I'm actually out this month. Uh, Y'all be up, man.